Candace Fox, it is a pleasure to talk to the number one New York Times Globe and Mail best-selling author. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. It's wonderful to talk to you as well. Absolutely, gotta make sure that people know the greatness I'm, I'm getting ready to speak to. Um, let's 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 talk about the series really quick. Um, yeah. Now, now, first of all, I just want to be clear: this series is based off the first book of Crimson Lake because it is a series of four. It's a series of three, actually. Three. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so this is based on Crimson Lake, the first book. So you do end up with some unanswered questions at the end uh, about what what is it, who is responsible for destroying Ted's life. Um, <laughs> but that's what we need a season two for. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the books are all there. The books answer the questions for you. All right. All right. So if it, with that being said, just thinking, uh, you know, positive vibe, putting a good energy out there right now, that means that. <laughs> In season two, three, and beyond, you would think that we would next go into Redemption Point and then Gone by Midnight next. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. And then, and so that means that this season in its entirety covers the first book. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. 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 So, was there any specific parts of this series that you were overly interested into being brought to life where you felt like there was a little bit of range to kind of either scale or elaborate? And on the other side of the coin, was there parts where you was like, it has to be like this? <laughs> um, look, I I wasn't, it has to be like this about any of it uh, because I'm just so grateful that it happened. Uh, they, they bought the rights to this book before it was finished, yeah. uh, which was crazy because I was like, you don't even know who it is. You don't know who's guilty. Uh, and, and, and they were like, we don't care. We love it. We love the concept so much. <laughs> um, but in saying that, I was really interested in how Ted and Amanda would interact with each other because they can't get too friendly too early. I wanted all of that conflict and that mistrust and that prejudice and that, um, you know, Amanda comes into Ted's life at a moment where he's just drowning and he reaches out and is like, anyone, anyone help me. And when it's her, he's like, oh, God, why did it have to be you of all people? <laughs> Um, you know, so it takes them a while. It takes them a while to learn how to be with each other. And that's what I wanted. Um, and I think that that's played out so amazingly here, you know, and Thomas Jane was up against it because he's got, he's got all of this conflict that he has to have with his on-screen um, co-part. And then he's got these geese. He has to be <laughs> handling these aggressive birds the whole time. I love them. Just yeah. Cute. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I was like, there has to be, a, that was maybe one thing I was like, it has to be geese. I have to be in there. They're so beloved uh, by readers. Yeah. <laughs> listen they when it's hot it's hot and they know they had to make get the deal done whether you were finished or not so look that's just a testament to how great you are you know now good. one thing that's i feel is really important to your style like you always have interesting plots interesting stories but it's the themes and that's why i like cinema that's why i like uh, uh literature like the things that you're able to take from these stories and to apply to your life mm -hmm. one of the themes that you kind of tackled uh, in, 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 a, in a, one of your novels is redemption and forgiveness. Mm. What would you say is that theme, that walking away impression you want folks to take away from this season? I think that um, it's that judgment. It's that early judgment that people make uh, which is so easy to do in a small town like Crimson Lake. When Ted comes in, they've already prejudged him based on what he's accused of. It's the fact that people say things like the police wouldn't arrest a person unless they had evidence. That's not true. That is yeah. not true. The police arrest people all the time without evidence. Oh, uh, yeah. and, and, and sort of saying, oh, this is the type you know, Amanda's covered in tattoos and she's really weird looking. She's kind of um, aloof and weirdly friendly. And, and, and people say that's the type of person who would, you know, be a killer. Or, um, and I, I, I think it's that. It's that early judgment. And you'll be doing it, hopefully, as a viewer saying, oh, he looks like a nice guy or she looks like a bad person or he's lying. You can tell. And I want you to do that. And then I want you to say, oh, why did I do that? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Listen, Amazon, cut the check. Let's already green light this second season. 
you know, you've already and congratulations being one of the pillars of the new Amazon Freebie, uh, you know, just the rebranding of IMDb TV. But this is still a huge series already with the success in Australia. We want more Australian cinema and television in America. So hopefully this is a chain reaction of things to come. And hopefully you're one of the catalysts and being a part of that. Thank you. Watch this space is all I can say. What There'll be announcements. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. <laughs> all right. That's what I like to hear. Well, uh, as always, it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you. Much success going forward. And um, I can't wait for the rest of the world to check out the series. Thank you. Thank you so much for spreading the word. Absolutely. Oh, and I must say, folks are also itching to see if you're going to get back to writing maybe more in this series. I've seen a couple of tidbits know, online saying it. So I get there was one point I was getting about five letters a week. <laughs> people about that. And so, yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to at some point. <laughs> They'll be knocking there, on my door. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.